Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be unboxing a doodle crate, which is from KiwiCo. And they have a bunch of different crates for different age groups and depending on interest and things that are mostly STEM and STEAM related. And I really, really like that, especially as a homeschool resource, which is the reason I created this channel is to give you additional ideas for homeschool resources, maybe organization for your homeschool room or homeschool area in your house, or how, uh, what types of curriculum you can use that might be best or that we've tried and liked because I haven't tried everything so I don't know exactly what is the best. But let's get into this box and see how it goes today. So this one says it's a faux leather portfolio and create a hand stitch portfolio to hold your sketch book. So that's super exciting, especially since my daughter loves to sketch and she has been wanting me to open this for so, so long. So when we open it up, we have the little pamphlet on the top and we drop it on the floor, <laughs> almost. So this pamphlet is gonna give us our instructions and it has a picture on the front of what a finished product could look like and it's super cute and she's gonna be very excited about this. But I love when they give very detailed instructions. They show exactly everything that's supposed to be in here. And then they go through and help us know exactly what we're supposed to do. This is my type of instructions pamphlet. So that's the pamphlet. And then we have this little piece of leather that already has holes poked in it. If you can see that, there's already the holes. And then here is the leather pouch itself. And it's very big at the moment because it's not sewed together, but it already, again, has all the holes for everything, which is very nice because I'm trying to imagine my almost six-year-old trying to punch holes in that. And that's the thing, she is only six and this box is for nine to 14, but I feel like she can do it and she might need a little bit of help from me, but I'm fine helping her. And we'll see from month to month, there might be some that are easier for her to do and some that are harder, so I can let you know about that. And then here's the sketchbook that this is supposed to be for. And my daughter loves to sketch. She loves to pretend write and everything. And so she's we go through notebooks with her pretty quickly. So I'm excited to have another notebook that she can use. And in this one, I don't see an extra little pamphlet that goes through uh, more activities they could do like I've seen in the tinker crate and the kiwi crate itself And so I don't know if that's gonna be a normal thing or that's just this month, but I can let you know about that as well And I'm going to let my daughter get into this and I can let you know how easy it was for her to do And we'll let you see the finished product Okay, so we finished our doodle crate. You want to show them what it is? There it is Oh, we'll hold it up closer and so she can open it. There's an elastic and inside is her notebook. Did you like making it? Yes. What was your favorite part? Um, I like how I choose the patterns perfectly on there. You like the pattern up there that you were able to choose? Yep, and she did this all by herself. She put them all in and opened them all up and did it all by herself. So for the most part, she was able to do the whole project by herself. I just showed her a few uh, things with the sewing and I got her started on the sewing. Here, you want to hold it? And then she was able to do the rest of it herself. <laughs> and uh, it took her about two hours, I think. This part, obviously the embellishment on the front is what took the longest. Just putting the little brad tacks in and having to open them all up took a long time. But she sat and did it all by herself. So. The only thing that was slightly confusing to me right at the very beginning <laughs> was I was these instructions, I was reading them like this and they didn't make sense and so I realized they go across the page. So most of the time when I see instructions, they usually go down a page, so that was slightly confusing. So that's something to look for in the instructions. And other than that, I think we really enjoyed doing our doodle craft and are excited for next month. 
And so if you are interested in having more videos like this and more things about homeschooling resources, please subscribe to my channel. And also there's a link in the description below that will give you 50% off your first box if you use that link to go to the KiwiCo and you don't have to just get a doodle crate. You can pick whichever one might fit your children best. So we will see you next time.